Tell me y'all not doing this. You've been playing this so serious this whole time. Martin, I would love to sit up here and like not say nothing and just keep on defending this movie and loving it, but I can't look at you with a straight face. You can spread as much art on this bread as much as you want to. But if that art tastes like shit... <laughs> Ooh, is this pate? No, it's shit. Oh, <laughs> come on! <laughs> I like. I love that. that. Yeah. You'll get full attention if you get a share of <laughs> 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 Join us here on some of the streams that we have. And you can do so by becoming a subscriber. Now, you can go to DoubleToast.com. You can try that service out seven days for free. But you know what? Uh, audio that we put up. And we don't do a uh, video. We got audio. Now, audio is free all the time. SoundCloud, iTunes. It's on there. Get it. Keep it. It's yours. And when you listen to it, uh, put that drug dealer on them. <laughs> you know? Yeah, man. I'm, I'm listening to this. I want more. I need more to this. I need visuals. You're going to come back. And you're going to want to be part of these streams. And you can try that uh, service out seven days for free, as I said. But you know what? When you come back and you decide to sign up, uh, you can do so many ways. Uh, one of the ways that you can do that, that's easy, is using your Amazon account. we got an Amazon Pay button. Uh, put your username and password in. Press Enter. Ooh, you'd be like this girl right here. She look, got that toasted goodness all over her you body. You can see it. She's feeling it, man. It's a carry <laughs> Day of the Saldado. <laughs> Martin, Martin, you know, a lot of people... They said, man, that first Sicario, some good stuff. Liked it. That's a, that's a very artful and suspenseful film, but it was so bleak. Yeah. So dark. Hey, man, you mess with the cartel. There's nothing funny about that. <laughs> it, it, nothing lighthearted. It, nothing lighthearted? What you expect? It's a movie about the cartel. I thought it was a comedy. <laughs> <laughs> family comedy. <laughs> People are saying, we won't get that family cartel movie. You know? <laughs> sure. We're going to get the romantic comedy cartel movie. I think that was the gringo. The gringo. Yeah, and even that was kind of rough. Yeah. <laughs> but with this, with this right here, people said, man, I don't know if I could take any more. Oh, but you know something? If I come back for one thing, it's, it's, it's Benicio Del Toro, the, man. The further adventures. The further adventures <laughs> of <laughs> Alejandro is his name. And a few people, they're looking at this and they're saying, man, even critics are saying, all right, you know what? I saw this. And, yeah, it's, it's good getting back with my friend Alejandro right there. But, man, y'all are making me depressed with these films right here. All this death, war, mayhem, chaos. Oh, innocent lives lost in the crossfire. Now we got political corruption mm -hmm. going on. Well, that was in the first one. But, oh, now they're... Oh, they're it's ratcheted up now. It's ratcheted up now. <laughs> they're they're going to go as far as to actually kidnap a little girl. And since something went wrong, they're even saying that, you know something... Uh, things didn't go like we wanted it to. And we'll tell you why they kidnapped this little girl in a little bit. But they said, this little girl, this plans didn't go like they like we thought they would. So this little girl got to go. Oh, can, uh, can El Alejandro save the girl? <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, will he continue to be the cold-blooded killer that he was in the first Sicario? Let's go ahead and take a look at this trailer. And we'll come back and we will give you our review. <laughs> Adios. Jesus. Come on, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think you got him. Yeah. Even, even Satan's like, he's dead. He's already here. <laughs> and then don't waste your book. Too. <laughs> yeah. So he can see what's going to happen. Right. You have no reason to trust me. But trust in me. It's how you're going to survive. They're the soldado. I still don't know what a soldado is. Yeah. yeah. Soldier. Soldier, thank you, thank you. El Gringo over there. <laughs> that was about. Uh, so to just to elaborate on this a little more, you know, it's, it's kind of mysterious. Who's this little girl? What, what's 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 this big operation that they're doing? That looks like it's gone wrong. Well, turns out the government has gotten desperate in their war with the cartel. It's not about drugs anymore. It's about terrorists crossing over the border, and uh, of course, doing what they do, blowing things up. So they figure, you know what? We'll just go ahead and take care of all of this. And one of the things that we'll do is. Will start a war between the cartels. By right, make them fight each other. Make them fight each other by kidnapping. Frame one of them. Frame one of them and kidnap the daughter of one of the biggest, uh, one of the biggest heads of the cartel over in Mexico. 
they say, we'll kidnap this girl, spread rumors that, hey, you know, it was this other gang over here that did it. And, hey, you know, they, they all killed themselves out. Terrorists will be stopped. And, hey, America, everything's good. Uh, it turns out that that doesn't, that, like, <laughs> yeah, that, come, that, that was never going to go as planned. <laughs> sure. <laughs> like you said, what's the difference between the cartel and the Mexican government? Yeah, it's, 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 it, it goes wrong in such a way where I go, wait. Y'all didn't plan for this to happen? <laughs> yeah. Like, you didn't think they had snitches? <laughs> right. <laughs> in everywhere? <laughs> Shit. Oh, you mean the cartels have bought off the police? Yeah. Dang. Dang. We should have... Wow. Never would have thought of that. How stupid. That, that's one of them. Like, how dumb can you be? Shit, cartel pay la cucarachas <laughs> to tell her to snitch on you. I mean, it's... it's this is a... Uh, I, I, we'll get into that in a little bit. This plan, this plan that they have. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are schemers. <laughs> it really was some joking shit. <laughs> that should turn to chaos real quick. <laughs> stupid. Just fucking stupid. But, uh, Martin, what do you think about this whole thing? I'm pulling up a clip right now. What do you think about this whole thing with a lot of critics being thrown off because they think that this is too bleak? I don't know if you've heard this, but a lot of people are saying like, ah, you know, and they know what they're getting into. They're like, oh man, this is even, it's got me down even a little bit more than the first one. I did. would say it's, it's bleak in that way that would depress me, mm -hmm. but there's reasons why that didn't happen. Yeah. And I'm just going to go ahead and let y'all know <clears throat> that, uh, no, this did not, this did not depress me. I don't even, I, I thought the first one was more bleak than this one. And the reason why is because, uh, I felt fear and I felt uh, I, I felt more compassion for the character in the first one, Emily Blunt, FBI agent. Sure. The, the, the FBI agent that she played. Emily Blunt was an FBI agent that where she shared. The reason why I felt for her more is because she shared the same naivete as we have. Sure. She was the audience avatar. Yes. You know, we got to see everything through her eyes. So as she was surprised, we were surprised. Yeah. She gets over her head, and we fear for her, and we sympathize for her because she really, that shit, that rocked her world, man. Yeah. She's like, you going to do what? <laughs> to get to who? <laughs> and I'm like, hey, look, you can die too. Yeah. This, <laughs> this is how we do things here. Sorry nobody told you. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. The first Sicario was actually a thriller with political and social commentary. Mm -hmm. And that was cool. But by the end of the movie, the producers of Sicario said, but shit, we got an action hero here. I know. <laughs> I know. And and that was not lost on me the first time. And I know how everybody loved the way it went at the end. But to me, as cool as it was, it felt like it was tacked on. I like, loved that. I, hey, like I said, it's And cool. we're talking it, about Alejandro, man. Right, right. It was like, a, like when, once Emily Blunt's story was done, people yeah. walking out. And then, oh, they said, no, 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 <laughs> yeah. no, no, shit, wait a minute. Uh, Alejandro, he got some some business to take care of, uh -huh. some unfinished business, and we got that one last scene of him and people. I ain't go look. He did one of the cruelest things in the world. Most ninety nine percent of the time, people be like, "That's horrible." When he did it, they like, "That's the most badass thing I've ever seen." Yeah. And they re you know, and they heard that audiences responded to that character, and they said, "You know what?" We got to find a way, as you said, to keep the further adventures of mm -hmm. the wolf. <laughs> <laughs> Alejandro going on. And that's what you have here, man. You know, instead of a, instead of a, 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 a political thriller or a social thriller with some commentary in there, uh, you have just a – now, this is a tough guy action film. It's a really self-important pulp story. <laughs> I, yeah. That, see, that's what I'm thinking here, man. Like – I come in and I don't feel for these characters. Not no. because I don't like them, because now you have Alejandro coming in, but you also have Josh Brolin, who's returning as Matt Graver, the agent Matt Graver. And, you know, those guys didn't give a fuck in the first movie. They're like, look, we, and that's how they are in this movie. Like, you don't fear for them because they're like, no. you know what, we got this shit. Yeah. It's okay. You know, we don't fear for them at all. And even if they are in danger, it's like, well, they know their job. Right. This is what they signed up for. They're ready to catch a bullet in the ass at any time. Yeah. Or to the face or anywhere else. And they don't even have emotions anymore. <laughs> they don't have any emotions. And they, you know what? Well, here's the thing about it, man. These are guys that are so tough. They just sit in dark rooms talking to each other. Right. <laughs> to get tough mood. <laughs> They sit in these dark rooms talking to each other, and they stare with the, the, the tough guy stare, and it takes them five minutes to give a response to each other. No rules this time. I'm turning you loose. How loose? Carlos Reyes. 
What was that for, Luz? It's your chance to get even for your family. But that sexual tension is thick. <laughs> All I'm thinking is, whatever they eating must be good. Because they don't want to stop chewing long enough to discuss this actual plan they're putting together. Oh, that's the funny thing about it, Martin. These dudes sitting up here, they sitting up here with all these tough stares, uh-huh. this tough <laughs> mood lighting, this tough talk. And they, they are, they're practically talking in grunts. <clears throat> okay. And they sit, what are they eating? Churros. <laughs> That's what I thought. I thought it was churros. Yeah, they might as well be eating pop tarts. Yeah, <laughs> or cinnamon toast. Yeah, and they'll be eating a bowl of cereal. They're something talking so tough. Motherfucker, crack a beer or something. Exactly. Yeah, y'all. Yeah, yeah pour some whiskey or eating, tequila. Yeah, y'all eating the most fun finger food. Out there. <laughs> mm. Yes, yeah. we gonna start war. It's like, and I'm looking at them like, you know, y'all, y'all, when I'm y'all turn you loose. Yeah. <laughs> What does that mean? Yeah. <laughs> Loose. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Want a churro? <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's like, y- y'all gonna make out at some point. <laughs> y'all got all this romantic lighting going on. Right? Right? Y'all are staring at each other rom- like like so uh, 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 deep in love and the- looking at each other in the eyes. It's like, y'all gonna start kissing in a little while. You know, this shit is, is, is the tension is too thick. You ever seen dudes who are just too tough with each other? The, 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 tost- the, the testosterone is so thick. Uh, watch the movie Predator. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or, man. Or, or Heat. That's the yeah. That's the thing, man. This is uh, this is a movie where they just they're they're tough guys. So the the the, uh, the characters are just not as interesting because it's it's an action movie. They're action movie characters. Uh, you know, you get into uh, some other characters because it takes away from the emotion. You know, it's not as dramatic because, again, uh, these guys, they got it. You ain't worried about them. Even the people that you feel for, Isabella Mona is the uh, daughter of the cartel. And uh, she feels, you feel for her, you, you feel for her safety. You know, you want her to make it. But uh, she feels more like a device. It's, it's interesting because they, they, nobody gets anything in the way of character de- development except her. In the beginning, when they show her at school, and you get to see how she's kind of a an asshole, tough kid, mm-hmm. but she, you know, she's the daughter of the leader of the cartel, but you kind of get something of her personality. But then once she hooks up with those guys, yeah, she's just a damsel in distress. Yeah, which is fine. I mean, she's sixteen years old, and I like the way they introduce her in a way where you don't like her, and then you eventually is she sixteen? She looks so young. Yeah, she's sixteen in the movie. I think oh. they said she was sixteen. Okay. Yeah, she's some Transformers. Uh, okay. The one I was hanging out in the junkyard robots. Yeah. And some, yeah. So uh, she's, you know, I mean, it's it, it's like I, they do a, a, enough with her to like make you feel for her, and that and that's cool. What are y'all talking about? Can y'all be quiet, please? Sorry. Thank you. Uh, but you know, the, the, this character right here is not it's not anything that you really, 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 really care about. No, <laughs> no, <laughs> you really kind of don't. <laughs> no, no, not at all. And and honestly, okay. So here's the thing about this movie. I think people should know. Because from everything you said, I could see somebody going like, well, shit, man, I just want a good action movie. You said me it's an yeah. action movie with tough guys. That's what I want to see. I want to see Benicio Del Toro kicking ass and killing all these fools and it, it being like a, another equalizer except in Mexico. Yeah. And the thing is, watching this trailer makes you think that's what you're going to get. And it's not what you're going to get. I, I felt like you did not get that. Because cause it looks like it's a story about, hey – They've turned on Benicio, and now he's got the girl. He's got to outrun the cartels and his buddies that set him up and keep her alive. Something, something like the a, a transporter movie or something. And that's not a factor till like the last thirty minutes. Well, see, that's where I kind of part from you now. Okay, <laughs> that's where we uh, that's where we disagree. Got two different jobs and missions now. <laughs> okay, because I the thing is is that while I wasn't into the characters. Because these characters are, are, are types, right down, it is especially with the government people. So I get where you're coming from. Like Matthew Modine, uh, you know, th- he plays a just the a suit that you see in the most generic movies, yes. the most generic <laughs> type of politician in the suit, you know. And and plus, uh, as we were saying, oh, and the same thing with Catherine Keener, she's just there to yell at them, like, "Do your job, right?" You know, we, you know, uh, uh, I, I outrank you. Do what you were hired to do, you know. That's all they're there to be the, the to be the evil politician people, or the morally great politician people. But really, they come across as bad guys here. Uh, you know, that's not the subtlety of the first movie. Uh, this whole mission that they're on, 
like we said, is stupid. Like from the very beginning, you look at this and it's like, yeah, how did you not think that this would not go wrong? Mm -hmm. But at that point that it did go wrong, I was like, all right, you know what? Oh, and that's another thing with this. They try also have another, there's a parallel story with another teenager in there. Uh, the same writer is back, Taylor Sheridan, I think is his name. Yeah. Uh, they have a parallel story going on trying to, he's almost trying to like mimic himself, his structure from the first movie. Yeah. And all this stuff was kind of, you know, at first I was like, eh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying the movie, but it's definitely an inferior film. But it got to that point where when the mission went wrong, that's when stakes really got high. And that's when I enjoyed it as an action movie. And I, because, I, you know, when I look at this, I think that I think that's where it actually succeeds as an action movie. Uh, and not and here's the and see now I'm gonna I'm gonna say something that a lot of people hate hearing from critics, and I'm just gonna throw it out there, and I can explain why. Uh, the reason why I enjoyed this as an action movie, and the reason why I don't see it as bleak as the first one, is because they went ahead and stripped this down and made it like a lot of movies uh, can be compared to. They made it a western. I know critics say that a lot, but they're the, the elements of that are here. You got bandits, you got kidnappers, you got the lone, hard-edged hero on a journey across the plains. You got the, that guy that lives on the lonely plains with nobody else around. Like, why the fuck are you living here? <laughs> <laughs> One dude in a, he even lived in a Western house, Not sure, with a TV in it. Um, there, you know, there, the, uh, you know, th there are moments here where this is a straight up western, and ain't that, and that's why I can't even laugh at that scene with Benicio del Toro firing that gun. I'm like, damn, he's even a gunslinger right here. You know, <laughs> they, they made him, they made him like a cowboy you know, of sorts. And, you know, and I, I look at this and I think, all right, you know what? Uh, a lot of people who say that they are depressed by this, that this is that this is so bleak, that this is so dark, if they were doing the same kind of violence. In this, instead of cars, they want horses. Instead of goggles and, and and bandanas, they had cowboy hats on, and they had been using six shooters and whatever. Whatever you have, and they were committing the same kind of violence. They would people would say that this is a dark western, or a revisionist western, and I think that they would actually give it credit for that. So that's why I'm saying that. That is why I'm, I'm saying that if you take this as an action movie, you even take it as a western in a way. I think that and not look. For it to be as deep as the first movie, it can be enjoyed, is what I'm thinking. Yeah. Marley, give me that fuck you look. <laughs> hey, no, you're right. It can be enjoyed. I just wasn't one of those people who enjoyed it because I'm not caring about these people. Well, Martin, I'll tell you why the the people didn't matter to me because again, it, they they did their jobs as far as being uh, as far as being types in the film, but you know they they were meant to like carry the action along. And the action is where the real star of the movie comes in, I think. Like I said, uh, Dennis Villeneuve or whatever his name, he's the, the original director. He's not here anymore. We got, we got somebody else here. We got a guy, uh, an Italian. This guy, Stefano Salima. You're like, hello. <laughs> <laughs> this guy, you know, I, I think that he's the real star of the movie. I think that his direction is the real star of the movie. Because in the film, there's a... Uh, I, I like the action because the action is suspenseful. Everything has this slow build up before they actually kick it off. You know, they do, and, and it's just the basic rules of what suspense is. A lot of times in this movie, they give us, the audience, some information that these characters on screen don't know. They don't know shit, and then when they, and, but we know it, and we're scared for them getting in certain situations. We know the cavalry is coming. We know that the enemy is riding along, and they got a lot of weaponry. And, we, and for me, that suspense that's built up is what makes this work uh, as an action movie. I, I spent so much of this movie being tense, knowing what these guys were into. And, you know, uh, it was... Uh, uh, there were a lot of scenes where they just have a lack of things before you get into it. A lack of music is, uh, is one of the things that is actually done skillfully in this film, as you see in this clip right here, when uh, the girl actually gets kidnapped. Yeah. Got eyes on the prize? Price is in the tail vehicle. <laughs> she looks scared for real. She's like, yeah. shit, y'all tell me you were driving to the set. <laughs> Like they actually kidnapped her, uh, you know. And, and when I say lack of music, well, they got something that's going on now. This might get on some people's nerves, but they like they took this from the last uh, the score from the last movie. Like whenever they're building up, like when like starts out silent, 
Then they get into the mode where they're building up the tension with, with just a, a, a like a tone. Like, dun, 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 dun. And then that dude on that tuba comes in. <laughs> <laughs> and they, that dude just keeps playing that over, right, right, over and over, and over again. It that, works, and it works, and it's and it's like and you don't know, like like if you're getting excited about the action, you're like that dude, stop playing that fucking tuba. <laughs> you know, it's like, it, but it for I'm me, to think. <laughs> yeah, but it but it worked for me. It really it in in uh and for me, I was like, okay, you know something, if you can give me character types. Because I can, I look at something like John Wick. John Wick, John Wick is just he's hardly a character. I know you're know, like, man, now you know I don't like John Wick. Why are you talking that shit to me? <laughs> but but you're, you're you're speaking the truth right now. But John, no, John Wick is hardly a character. He's a force of nature. But you like it because the world is constructed so well. The direction is is so good. The arts, the art de- design and direction is so good. And that's why I think sometimes the elements, even though you're working, I know I always say character. Is important. Story is important. But if you can make your direction, your art, in the movie a character within itself, then I can go with that. Uh, if your direction is that good, then I can go with that. So I, I, and I see what you're saying because I, you know, that's what I always say. You know, I gotta have characters to root mm-hmm. for. But if if you don't root for characters, that's fine. You know, I get it. But for me. The character you, you rooted for was the director. Well, the, yeah, 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 yeah. Great shot, man. Yeah. Keep going. I think he should go fight the cartel. <laughs> I'll fight them with the art. <laughs> Cacao. <laughs> yeah, put that motherfucker in an artful casket. No, you know, but uh, it's, it's uh, like I said, if you can make me feel something, mm-hmm. you can either make me feel emotions for the characters or you can make me feel so tense for this whole thing. And throughout the movie, I was very, very tensed up. I, I hear you, and 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 you're right about the the tension that's in it. It, it it's very effective at, at that. Uh, I mean, the thing you said about it being a western, I saw that. It just to me, just even imagining it as a western, it's one that I go, eh. I I feel like I've seen this one before. It's it, there's so many elements to it, extraneous elements that that keep me from falling into it. Uh, you mentioned the subplot. With, mm-hmm. with this other uh, teenage kid mm-hmm. that really felt like it was going somewhere and then it would just disappear for so long that when it would come back, I'd be like, oh yeah, I forgot you were in here. Yeah, And, and, you... and, and where it plays, with, with, with its final conclusion, I was like, are you for real? I, I sat through this for that. Oh, okay, now see, now, now Martin, here we go, we get back on the same road now. <laughs> We're working together again because I said, man, you put this other subplot in all to build up for a sequel. Right. <laughs> That's all you did that for. I know what they did it for. And the other thing is, look, as much as I like this movie, I do have to call bullshit on that third act. <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah I, can't. I mean, there's something that happens in there where you're like, man, it's a game changer. No. 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 Martin. Like, Martin, look. Like, I, I was like... Tell me y'all not doing this. You've been playing this so serious this whole time. Martin, I would love to sit up here and like not say nothing and just keep on defending this movie and loving it. But I can't look at you with a straight face and tell you that shit made sense. That shit made this look, I, I, you could put you could you can spread as much art on this bread as much as you want to. But if that art tastes like shit, <laughs> you can try to cover this shit in as much art. Cool direction, great, great lighting, great action, but sometimes it's just stupid. It's like, come on, y'all. Ooh, is this pate? No, it's shit. Oh, <laughs> come on. <laughs> I, li- I love that. that. Yeah. I love you trying to tell me, but I'm an artist. Yeah. <laughs> you full of shit, too. It was my, that made no sense what they did. No, I'm man. sorry. And I tried. I really did try. It's like, man, this is, this is so beautiful. No, <laughs> Negro, you know this is dumb. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to watch. Sitting up there. Uh. Yeah. Sitting up there talking to myself. <laughs> but it's so beautiful. Shut the fuck up. You know this is stupid. <laughs> Come on, man. Because you're right. The, the, the first act, I mean, you get some of that action in the beginning. But uh, all that is is setting things up. And it's, and it's, and it's tension. Yeah. And, and it goes on for a while to where you're like, I don't know, man. Is this going to be a snoozer? Second act comes in. Okay, this is where all that pays off. Yeah. Yes, I'm excited. Okay, well now, now, now things are moving. Third act. Ah, uh, <laughs> y'all. Yeah. Don't do this. Please don't do this. And I, yeah, I even you did it. <laughs> I, I even said there is no way that you can bounce back from this. <laughs> 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 she 
Like, you don't know how much rubber we made out of. <laughs> I'm like, no. <laughs> I, Okay, thank you. I was like, am I really going to have to fight him on this ending? No, nah, nah, my friend here is full of shit. <laughs> Shut up, man. <laughs> no, nah, man, I can't. I can't. And, but Martin, here's where you're going to hate me. But it's directed so well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's hey. fine. I'll take it. <laughs> would you like the duck or would you like the shit? I'll take the shit, pate, please. <laughs> it, it's okay once you get used to it. <laughs> nah, man. It, it, but it was just, it was so well constructed the way that even when they got to the dumbest parts, I was like, man, you really put that together well. Right. And I, and I was, and I, 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 I was it. trying to go with it too. Yeah. I, but, I, but, but, but yeah, much like you, my brain was like, no, you're not. Uh, uh-uh. uh. We're nah. not doing this. <laughs> my, 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 the whole thing is, look. If you want to go with it, I don't think there's anything wrong with that because you can still have fun. Sure. I know some people don't want to hear that. Man, it's a movie about the cartel. Fuck it, it's fun. I don't know what to tell you. It's a, it, it's a dumb action film. It is. It, that's what it is. Ultimately, but but what bothers me is that it won't admit that it is. It seems to feel like it's not. Well, where you say that it's it's not, it was almost like. The director said, okay, this is not the strongest material. This makes no sense when we get to this certain point. All I can do is direct this as well as I can. And as, a, and as an action film, it is almost like action art. I think it works remarkably well as an action film. If you go in with those expectations, I quickly realized that's where we were going. I even heard some people say in their reviews that this is just, it's just an action movie. And they criticized it for that. I'm looking at it, and I'm like, well, I was prepared for that, and I enjoyed it, man. I enjoyed this very much. Like I said, a lot of times thrillers and action movies, they are there to make you feel suspense, yeah, make you feel, to make your palms sweat. And that's what this movie did, and as far as I'm concerned, it succeeded on that level. So I'm going to give it a full price. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, you, man, you can give me the eyes all you want to. I'm, I'm giving you these eyes because we've had some great movies that you've gone like, yeah, but there was this thing and this one other little thing, so I got to knock it down to a rental. They weren't directed as well. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what, well, go, go, give me an example. What movie are you thinking of that I, that, that I probably didn't uh, give it? It's, it's, it's happened plenty. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you're so full of shit. <laughs> <laughs> not even going <laughs> to go into it. Yeah, I, 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 I got to go with my knows. feelings. I, I really had, I I had a good time I understand. With this. I understand. You, 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 you're a, a filmophile and a director, and that's why you appreciate those things. That's not, man, that's not what I said. As a film, just as a film gore. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Martin Rich trying to make me as a, as a pretentious artist. That's not what I said. That's not what I said. It's just that those things genuinely appeal to you more than someone else. Or they appeal to you more than they do to me. Okay, I can see that. So can we settle on that? Different taste. Yes. And also, I'm, I'm getting a sense of what you get out of this movie, how you feel about this movie is what you come in expecting. Mm-hmm. Because mm-hmm. you read that review that said it's just a dumb action movie. You were prepared for that and saw like, yes, okay, that aside, I see this. I remember seeing, first seeing the trailer and I thought, oh, great, this is so unnecessary and it's not going to be good. And had I gone in with that, I'd, I'd probably be like, man, I'm so impressed. But then before going to see it, I talked to somebody who had seen it already and they were like, no, no, it's good. You want you, you to see this. Mm-hmm. So I went in expecting something. Oh, okay, good. I'm going to actually see this higher, better movie. And then I was like, mm. <laughs> so I was let down. <laughs> okay, all right. I, you know, hey, to be fair though, I had some people come in and tell me that it's really good. Two of them were in this room. Uh, 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 Jake told me that. And, the frills. Uh, Jake did. Yeah, Doctor Feelgood told me, and he said he heard it was really good. And then I had Car- Carlos. You know, the guy with the Mexican name. So he's a he's a fisher. Carlos came in. He was like, oh, I heard it was so good. So Okay, okay. the two of them, they said they heard it. <laughs> I, I talked to a guy who actually saw it. I, I talked to another film critic who saw it, who, okay. t- who tends to be hard on movies. And okay. he saw it and was like, no, you want to see this. This is good. Okay. Can I ask you one thing? Yes, sir. The way they end it, are you excited for a possible third or no? Oh, you know what? That's a great question. And Martin and I are going to be split on this because the ending, it is forced for a sequel. I can't wait to see that sequel. I can, you know, I can't. I, I love that character. Plus, I remember with, the, with Sicario, you didn't really, you didn't, you didn't like it as much as I no, did. No, I didn't. And I really enjoyed Sicario, and some of it was, <clears throat> was due to Benicio Del Toro's character. 
So, yeah, man, uh, I can understand that. Expectations, different taste, mm-hmm. you know, uh, um, the different thing, elements you're looking for in the movie. I get it, man. What would, you, what, what would be your rating? Uh, I, I give it a, 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 a low matinee. Okay. That's not so bad. No, you going? I, no you I, didn't, I didn't walk out hating it. Martin has valid points right there. And really, if you are going in expecting this to live up to the depth of the, of the uh, original movie, or the first film, then you probably will be disappointed. But let me tell you right now, don't go in there with that. Don't go in there looking for that. You know, if you just want to have a, a good, solid action film, that's what you're going to get. And as Martin said, as a, as a award-winning director <laughs> and uh, also cinematographer, you know, I, I am the authority on these things. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know, I have my trophy from Waco up on the- <laughs> When I had my, my film shown at the Waco Library <laughs> Film Festival. <laughs> oh, you beat that other film? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That film that was directed by that fifth grader. Does that mean it's a little better than sex? No, this one is not a little better than sex. No. Nah. <laughs> No, it's not there. It's close, but it's not there. <laughs> A little better. <laughs>